It has been referred to as a one-of-a-kind exhibition. This is the first time a U.S. gallery is showing DPRK art that depicts the country's daily life and political beliefs. I try to put more core of uh, what North Korean artists uh, uh, usually express, uh, like uh, reflecting their socialist uh, ideas, ideology, and beautifying people's life, and also glorifying the leadership. As many art experts point out, artwork produced in the DPRK has long been used to send political messages. That's one reason why some critics question if art, as defined by a Western aesthetic, truly exists in the country. North Korean art in general is all propaganda. But when I was doing more research on and on, and I found, discovered something deeper than just a superficial propaganda. As you see in this show, there's uh, many uh, human emotions expressed. Uh, which can be propaganda, but also very uh, artistic, personal expressions involved. All these pieces are done in the traditional Chasanwa technique, brush and ink on rice paper, considered a challenging method that demands perfection from the artist. Moon says the DPRK is the only nation still producing on a large scale works in the socialist realism style of the 1950s and 60s. The evolution of socialist realism seeks to broaden the understanding of life, culture and art in the DPRK. A selection of art from the Republic of Korea is also on display at this museum. These pieces show that despite their proximity on the Korean peninsula, the DPRK and ROK have little in common when it comes to art. South Korean realism is uh, nothing special but uh, one of those, you know, international realism. And in it, there is a variety of expressions and psychological uh, aspects are uh, emphasized. So something like that is actually lack in North Korean art. Professor Moon says that despite his trips to the DPRK, many aspects of the artistic community there remains elusive. But as more people see North Korean works through exhibits like this one, more people in the West will be able to appreciate its subtle sophistication. Andrea Arenas, CCTV, Washington.